Basta Sports J Melo. Basta Sports J Melo. Basta Sports J Melo. Basta Sports J Melo. The WBO bantamweight champion of the world with a split decision victory from the Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the champ, John Riel Casimero. Alongside Sean Gibbons of MP Promotions. And I know that, uh, you know, a, a very passionate response from both of you. But champ, I want to ask you, um, how satisfying is this victory for you tonight? There were a lot of Filipinos that came out to support you here in the Los Angeles area, but how does the win feel? Do we have a microphone for uh, the translator? Yeah, he can translate right from there. So how does, how does he feel after the win over Guillermo Rigondeau as he retains his championship? Uh, you know, I'm very excited despite because, you know, I know Regal Dogs always run, boring fighter, but, you know, I will do my best to knock him out because all my fans, he won't knock him out. So, I know uh, Regal Dogs always run, but I'm surprised because running always, no fancy. When Jimmy Lennon said, we go to the scorecards, we have a split decision, were you worried that the judges were not going to award you the decision. Pag announce na ni Jimmy na split decision na goal, baka na split decision ang decision ng mga judges. Yeah, you know, uh, my my target is knockout, but, you know, I'm hard to knock, knock him out because, you know, always run, record talks, but, you know, uh, the judge is, uh, I respect the judge, that's why uh, he, a decision, but you know, I want, I will do my best to knock him out. Sean Gibbons of MP Promotions, were you concerned at all when you found out that it was a split decision? I, I was a little surprised. Um, all I can say is, uh, I don't know what Tim Cheetah was looking at, but he needs to go back and uh, figure out how to score a fight because he was horrible tonight. You don't win fights on your back foot running for your life. Casemiro. Was ringing down the first round, and the guy. I've never, I, I, in my 35 years of boxing, that's the most embarrassing fight I've ever seen. And it didn't happen because of this man, it happened because Guillermo ringing down. And I don't even know how the guy could walk around and, and, and say he was in a fight. It was horrible. So, yeah, I, I, was, I, I was speechless when I heard split decision. I almost fell out of my freaking ring. Do we have any questions from the media here? Raise your hand, identify yourself, and then ask John Real Casimiro questions, the champion still. John over here, uh, Manu Gokopian from Boxing Scene. Uh, uh, first and foremost, how do your legs feel? Say again? How do you feel? Basta Sports, J Melo. 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 That's, that's what I follow. Basta Sports, J Melo. Thank you very much, Bob. Say again? How do you feel? How does his legs feel from running? Go sign the legs, mate. Oh, my legs is so hard because, you know, I, I want to, to post, post, but always run. But, what are you doing? Come on, post me. But he ran always. Have you ever been in a frustrating fight like that in your career? Yeah, yeah I, I, like, uh, I'm not ringing, you know, I'm not ringing, so physical and running, hard. Yeah, I have experience. I, got, I know how to manage the, because, you know, a lot of experience. You know. Yeah, in Thailand, he had the same type of fight with Amdon Rutterick. Wrestled him, threw him down, whatever. But Amdon at least threw punches. This guy, I've never, no punch it. Yeah. I've never seen this in 35 years. Uh, I'm just, I'm fucking speechless how bad that was. It's embarrassing. This man came out to fight, give the fans what they want. He was there throwing punches. This guy just went up for his life. The referee did a horrible job. The referee should have stopped, said fight, or I'm taking points, doing something. It's a joke. It's a fucking joke. Very good look surprised in the first round because he hit him. It's weird. He hit him. The guy never stopped. He's still running. He's probably running to the hotel right now. <laughs> we got a chair for uh, Sean Gibbons, who is uh, uh, MP Promotions. Obviously, more questions from the media. Uh, you know, Steve Pratt has the microphone, so Steve will find you. Just make sure to keep your hand up. And uh, questions for the champion still here tonight. Steve uh, Avila with Auction Business. So, uh, my first question congratulations, obviously. Um, where do you go from here? You know, 
uh, my my target for my promoter is a drill, a bullet. First, Rigondo finish, finito, and second, Donaire. And next, now I know it. <laughs> Woohoo! Let's go, Jack! I'm guessing you did that for effect, huh, uh, Jean Riel? Uh, I can tell you, it's real simple. Anybody that wants to fight, please. Please, let's go. He's the WBO champ. If it's Donaire, it's a no At least we know those guys got balls. I don't know. Both of them, it's curvy. Were you concerned uh, when, when you first got, I mean, obviously you're, you were looking forward to the donor fight, it didn't work out. Uh, when, Guillermo's, when Guillermo's name is the one that ended up getting the call, did it concern you that this was maybe going to be exactly how it went? What did you say? You, was he concerned when the donor fight, that that yeah. Dow fight was going to be like well, this? It is. Yeah, it was going to be a marathon. You know, I know the Regan Dox is, that's, that's a style Regan Dox said before, but you know, before it's so hard, hard, hard Regan Dox, but now not so much. Because you know, I know Regan Dox as old now, I respect Regan Dox, that's a two-time Olympian, yeah. Yeah, but here's the thing, his Twitter account talked a lot of shit, but he didn't back it up, so whoever's on his Twitter account needs to check with him next time. Because we thought the guy on Twitter was the guy that was coming to fight. The one who was talking all this, blah, blah, blah. But someone better check who does his Twitter, because I know it's not him. <laughs> uh, congratulations, Jeff. Yeah, I, I know you want to fight, you know, with Donaire, but it looks like they're actually fighting each other. Yeah. What would you do? You're going to uh, you gonna fight someone else, or you're going to wait for them? Sorry, say again again? I'll, I'll answer that real quick. Nonito Donaire signed a contract. Be a man, throw some balls, stand up. He's not fighting um, fighting Anoe. He's got a contract. Step up and fight us. He wants to do a real fight. So I, I know what you're saying, that you're saying the fight is happening, but that's that's news to us. We want Donaire. We signed for Donaire. If he wants to run and he wants to talk about Anoe, then that's so be it. Casimiro's the world champion. He'll fight somebody. Woo you know, he's the champ. That's Woo -hoo! Yeah. Really? You got time. Okay. One more question. The, talk about the Inoue fight. Would you guys, you don't mind going to Japan to do it? You don't mind going to Japan. Yeah. Hey. If the house of uh, Inoue, I fight, I fight it. Let me put it this way the guy's been to nine countries, won three world titles in nine different countries. Japan's the last one, it'll be number 10 when he knocks Inoue out. We love Japan, we love the Japanese people. We love the fight there. Yeah, even in his house, he was, he's going to fight Inoue in his house. No problem. Problem. Give him the address. Give him the address and come by. No problem. <laughs> Champ's a fighter. That's all I can say. He's ready to fight anywhere, anytime, against anybody. He's the WBO champ. So. Hey, John. Miguel Maravilla fighting you. First of all, congratulations on this, on this win. Where does this rank? Is this perhaps the biggest win of your career since Rigondeaux was, you know, two division world champion? Oh, but they can have the one duo anymore. No, uh, uh, that's a big fight. It's, uh, you know, uh, and uh, uh TV, that's uh I I'm surprised because you know it's finished in three rounds, but that's a very tough in the Bantam division. That's a great boxer, you know. And next, maybe Donaire or Inoue. Yeah, so what he's saying is a lot of Ted Day feels was the best win. Yeah. Yeah. This was the worst fight he's ever been in his life. That's it's a great boxer, that's the best of the Bantam division. So it's tough. Do you have anything to say to Tonito? Yeah, easy work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Easy one. Print that. So don't ever, don't ever see that. Easy one. Sorry. <laughs> so could you tell me again how you are confident to be, you know, back? So I'm so confident because you know. Now I know. I know they have a power, but me too. I'm so very power, but. I like I like bouncing bouncing no run. I like I like that. But if Naoya and me fighting, that's very, very good Styles, fight. Perfect. perfect style and you know. If you hold your bet, that's good. <laughs> well entering the fight, uh, Jean Riel Casimiro had a knockout percentage of over sixty-six percent. So obviously he has dynamite in both hands. More questions from the media? Uh Jean Riel. Anong uh, message mo muna sa ating mga kababayan sa Pilipinas na nanonood, Luzon, Visayas at Mindanao? Ayun, uh, nagpapasalamat ko ako sa lahat ng sumusuporta, sa lahat, sa lahat sa ating mga Pilipino, sa dito sa, sa Carson, California, sa maraming Pilipino na sumusuporta at lalo lang sa Pilipinas. 
At lalo na sa aking ba, uh, sa aming lugar, sa Obok City at Merida, Kabaliwan, Obok City. So nagpapasalamat po ako sa lahat ng sumusuporta at sa naniwala sa akin. Uh, nagpapasalamat po ako at lalo na sa mayor sa amin, sa mayor uh, Obok City, Mayor Richard Gomez. At sa lahat ng sumusuporta at sa lahat ng naniwala. Maray po salamat. Huling katanungan na. Oh, one second, one second. Can, you... Can we translate the question and the answer? He says that to all the people who supported him in the Philippines, uh, especially in his province, the mayor over there, Ormoc City, uh, he thanks everyone for his all the support. Thank you. To all the Filipinos. Gigil na gigil ka na makalaban si Inoue at buong Pilipinas, gustong gusto mong... Basta Sports, J. Melo. Basta Sports, J. Melo. Basta Sports, J. Melo. Basta Sports, J. Melo. Kasama ko po si Teofimo Lopez. Basta Sports, J. Melo. Basta Sports, J. Melo. Thank you.